My name is Valerie. I'm from QH Technology, a lithium battery company established in 2010. In this video, I will match the 24 volts lithium battery with inverters from three different brands Seco, Xingdun, and Must. This video is about how to match the inverter with the battery, and I'll introduce the battery first. This battery is uh, 24 volts and 250 uh, ampere hour. Let's press this button and the battery is turned on. Let's see, uh, on one side of the battery, there is a breaker. Before connecting the uh, battery with the inverter, it, uh, we should turn off the uh, breaker. After all the connection is done, uh, we can turn it on. Okay, on the other side of the battery, there are two sockets for the connection uh, with the inverter. Apart from this battery, uh, this battery of different size uh, is also 24 volts uh, and 250 ampere hour. Now connect the battery with the inverter. I will introduce the inverter. This inverter is 24 volts, 3.5 kilowatts. There are several wires for an inverter. These two wires are used for connecting the inverter with the battery. The red wire is positive and the yellow one is negative. The battery input direct current into the inverter through these two wires. And as for the red and blue wires, the alternating current is output through them to supply power to loads. There are two charging modes for the users to choose. The white wire is used for connecting the inverter with main supply and inputting alternating current into the inverter in order to supply electricity to loads or to charge the battery with direct current. The other mode is to charge through the solar panels with which we can connect through these two sockets. Now the inverter is supplying loads with power. We have tried an air conditioner, a fan, and a laptop, and they work well. Mm. The inverter has three working modes. If the inverter is connected to the main supply like this, the loads are powered on by the main supply, which can also charge the battery. If the main supply is removed, it's the battery that inputs direct current into the inverter which then provides load with alternating current. This is the second working mode. Therefore, the whole system becomes an uninterruptible power supply, which means that even if the electricity is suddenly cut off, the battery starts to function instead, and the loads won't stop working. Then the third working mode is to connect with the solar panels, the load and the battery can also be charged by the solar power through these two sockets. We have changed an inverter and this inverter is uh, 24 volts, 3.2 uh, kilowatts. We have already connected the inverter with the battery through these red and black wires. From the screen, we can see the temperature, the input and output voltage, the battery voltage, the charging mode, and etc. The battery linked to the inverter successfully.
With this inverter, we succeeded in running an air conditioner. The inverter is now connected with the main supply to charge the battery and to power the loads. To summarize, we have tested our 24 volt 250 ampere hour lithium battery by connecting with the inverters of three different brands, Sako, Hyundun and Musk. But apart from these brands, our batteries are able to supply power to any inverter. So if you want to buy an inverter, we are honored to invite you to purchase battery from our company. And that's all for this video.